गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू आवर आधार आई सी एस यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू कवर आवर नेशनल करंट अफेयर सेक्शन विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर बी पी एस सी एग्जाम इट विल कवर ऑल योर नेशनल इशूज इंटरनेशनल इशूज इकोनॉमिक इशूज डिफेंस एंड साइक सैटेलाइट्स ऑपरेशन इन्वायरमेंट फेमस पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइजेज मेजर इंडेक्स मीन्स दिज ऑल टॉपिक्स आर गोइंग टू कवर नाउ so we will come to the first point of our national issues the first point is rajasthan has become the first state to set up india's first l route server to promote e governance and to provide uninterrupted internet service rajasthan has become the first state means rajasthan is the first state to set up a india's first l route server to promote e governance and to provide uninterrupted internet service it's for the uninterrupted inter- internet service and rajasthan became the first state to start this type of server route server coming to the next point next point is about the 20th meeting of the national tiger conservation authority that is ntca in arunachal pradesh was chaired by union ministry of environment forest and climate change at pakka tiger reserve so it was in it was took place in arunachal pradesh at pakka tiger reserves and it was the 20th meeting of national tiger conservation authority in arunachal pradesh it was chaired by the union minister of environment forest and climate change during this the hornbill nest adoption and air gun surrender campaign was conducted in arunachal pradesh during this hornbill nest adoption it's a kind of animal hornbill nest adoption and air gun surrender campaign was conducted in arunachal pradesh so in this you have to remember that the tiger reserve named as pakka tiger reserve pakke tiger reserve it's in arunachal pradesh and it's a 20th meeting of national tiger conservation authority and it was chaired by union ministry of environment forest and climate change coming to the next point these we are going now we are going through the national issues later on we will cover international economics defense and all the important topics which are important for your bpsc exam as we all know that there there are 150 question for bpsc exam and in this portion 30 to 35 questions are from current affair section so we are studying now current affair the next point is about a sub variant of omicron virus has been found in mumbai named as xc a sub variant of omicron virus has been found in mumbai so where it is it was found it was found in mumbai and its name was xc so out of 150 question there will be 30 to 35 question from current affair so this is very important and it's uh, we know that there is a chance of negative marking because since 68 and 69 bpsc had ad- adopted the negative marking policy so we have to be very careful regarding our current affairs section next point in national issue is the government of kerala has tied up with netherland for the cosmos mala barikas project to highlight the state's history the government of kerala has tied up with netherland it's a tie up with netherland government for the cosmos mala barikas project to highlight the state's history means state's culture and heritage will be highlighted in this and it's a tied up with in netherland government so this is important because it's a mou signed between kerala government and netherland government next point is regarding who prime minister narendra modi has laid the foundation stone of global center for traditional medicine in jamnagar gujarat it took place in jamnagar gujarat where the center is being set up by the ministry of ayush in collaboration with who with the aim of adopting the use of traditional medicine its aim is to adopting the use of traditional medicine so it was uh, it was a foundation stone between global health who global center for traditional medicine in jamnagar gujarat so remember the place name is important that is jamnagar gujarat and prime minister narin modi has laid the foundation stone of who global center for traditional medicine in jamnagar gujarat the center is being set up by the ministry of ayush in collaboration with who with the aim of adopting the use of traditional medicine okay 
तो वी हैव टू लर्न ऑल द स्टेट अफेयर्स मीन्स वॉट द इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स टूक प्लेस इन इंडियन स्टेट्स एंड इंटरनेशनल कंट्रीज ऑल आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर बी पी एस सी एग्जाम बिकॉज एटलीस्ट थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर सेक्शन सो टू रिवाइज दिस सेक्शन वी हैव टू वॉच द वीडियो रेगुलरली एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर हंड्रेड वन इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स फॉर योर एग्जाम मीन्स वी आर वी विल लर्न वन जीरो वन फैक्ट्स फॉर बी पी एस सी एग्जाम नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज रिगार्डिंग इंडियाज फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल क्रूज कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन मुंबई बाय द यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड वाटर वेस्ट मुंबई पोर्ट अथॉरिटी एंड एंड फिक्की तो इट्स India's first international cruise conference was organized in Mumbai by the Union Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways. Next point is regarding India will host 21st Congress of Accountants for the first time in November 2022 in Mumbai. India will host means in November 2022 it was took place and it was for the first time in it took place in India and its 21st World Congress of Accountant held in Mumbai. Next point is regarding Gujarat. President Ramnath Kovind has inaugurated the National Judicial Conference on Information Technology. It, the conference was information technology in Ekta Nagar, Gujarat. So it was inaugurated by former former president that is Ramnath Kovind, and it took place in Ekta Nagar, Gujarat. It's all about information technology. Next point is about Mani Manipur state. The point is from Manipur state. Manipur government has launched Catch the Rain campaign 2022. It's the Catch the Rain uh, campaign 2022 to promote the water conservation. It's for the promotion of water conservation, and it was launched by Manipur government. And the program named as Catch the Rain. We will come to the next point. The next point is regarding India's first rapid rail has been unveiled, and it will run on Gajabad Delhi Merit Corridor. It will run between Gajabad Delhi Merit Corridor. Its speed will be 180 km per hour. The speed of the train is 180 km per hour. It will also be the first train in the country to have premium coach on a regional corridor. So it will for the first time in India that the train, the coach will have a premium coach. on a regional corridor so india's first rapid rail this is important india's first rapid rail has been unveiled and it will run on gajabad delhi merit corridor its speed will be 180 km per hour so you have to remember the speed of the train that is 1 km 180 km per hour and it will run on gajabad delhi merit corridor it will uh, it will also be first in the country to have a premium coach on a regional corridor we are going through the national affairs and we are going to cover at least 101 current affair points next point is from iit madras researchers from madras have launched india's first polycentric prosthetic knee which is named as kadam iit madras the researchers from iit madras have launched india's first polycentric prosthetic knee which is named as kadam so the name is important that is kadam and it is all about prosthetic knee Next point is about Yoga Mahotsav. Yoga Mahotsav has been organized by the Ministry of Ayush on the occasion of World Health Day. World Health Day is celebrated on 7th April and it the this program runs till Yoga Day. When which day is celebrated at Yoga Day? Yoga Day is celebrated on 21st June. So Yoga Mahotsav has been organized by the Ministry of Ayush on the occasion of World Health that is from 7th April. at red fort and it lasted till yoga day next point is regarding union ministry of youth affairs and sports anurag thakur has launched the mascot veera veera is an elephant or khelo india university games to be held in bangalore so it was the mascot was launched by union ministry of um, union ministry of sports that is mr anurag thakur and the mascot was an elephant named as veera or khelo india university games to be held in bangalore it was held in bangalore the union ministry of youth affairs and sports 
अनुराग ठाकुर हैज लॉन्च द मैस्कॉट द मैस्कॉट नेम्ड एज वीरा एंड एलिफेंट और खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स टू बी हेल्ड इन बैंगलोर तो इन दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन बैंगलोर एंड द मैस्कॉट नेम वॉज वीरा द कंट्रीज टॉलेस्ट मेडिकल टावर इट्स अबाउट इंडिया टॉलेस्ट टावर द कंट्रीज टॉलेस्ट मेडिकल टावर इज बींग बिल्ट इन जयपुर राजस्थान इट विल बी अ ट्वेंटी टू स्टोरी बिल्डिंग विद द हाइट ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन मीटर द हाइट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग इज हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन मीटर एंड इट इज अ ट्वेंटी टू स्टोरी बिल्डिंग एंड इट वॉज इन जयपुर द फेमस कंग्राटी ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश विल बी गिवेन जी आई टैग बाय द यूरोपियन कमीशन रिमेंबर जी आई टैग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट geographical identification so it relates with the place name and the particular commodities name the famous kangrati kangrati is famous of himachal pradesh was given gi tag by european commission coming to the next point union ministry of home and cooperation amit shah has inaugurated amrit samagam a conference of ministry of tourism and culture of the country in new delhi so it was organized in new delhi by union home minister and cooperation amit shah and inaugurated amrit samagam the next point is about the waterways conclave 2022 was organized by inland waterways the authority of india in dibrugarh assam so it was organized in dibrugarh assam and it was named as waterways conclave was organized by inland waterways so you have to remember the name of the place that is it was organized in dibrugarh assam and the program name was waterways conclave 2022 next point the government of karnataka has launched sans campaign social awareness action of neutralized pneumonia to ensure the awareness of early detection of pneumonia in child under the age of 5 it's for the children who are less than 5 years of age it's the campaign name is sans campaign social awareness action of neutralized pneumonia and the government of karnataka has launched this campaign so you have to remember the name of the state karnataka government has launched the campaign and the campaign name is sans to ensure the awareness and early detection of pneumonia in child under the age of 5 next point is regarding music project launched by the government of meghalaya to help artist by identifying the musical talents it's for the musical artist or talents it was launched as a music project launched by the government of meghalaya means meghalayan government launched this project named as music project next point is regarding maharashtra government maharashtra government has approved the first of its kind of gene bank project under this the genetic resources of various organism animal seeds of crops etc will be conserved so this was organized in maharashtra as gene bank project under this the genetic resources of various organism such as animal seeds of crop will be conserved coming to the next point we are going through the national issues bihar chief minister this point is important because it's regarding bihar Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has inaugurated the country's first ethanol plant in Purnia district. It has been established by Eastern India Biofuel Private Limited that cost around rupees one zero five crore. So it's uh, Purnia became the first district to start a ethanol plant in by Nitish Kumar. So Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has inaugurated India's uh, country's first miss its country's first ethanol plant in Purnia district. that cost around 10500 105 crore rupees next point is about cochin shipyard cochin shipyard limit cochin shipyard has announced construction of the country's first electric ship based on hydrogen fuel the construction of the ship was based on hydrogen fuel cochin shipyard limited has announced construction of the country's first electric ship it's an electric ship based on hydrogen fuel the ship is based on hydrogen fuel next point odisha will set up india's first tribal observatory to ensure the equality in health tri- health of tribals this observatory will continuously monitor the health and service health services and delivery system of tribal in the state so this was for the tribal people odisha will set up india's first wa- uh, tribal health observatory it it's india's first 
ट्राइबल हेल्थ ऑब्जर्वेटरी टू इन टू इंश्योर इक्वालिटी इन हेल्थ ऑफ ट्राइबल्स तो इट वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई ओडिशा गवर्नमेंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च व्हीकल मूवमेंट ट्रैकिंग सिस्टम मोबाइल ऐप टू ट्रैक द व्हीकल्स कैरिंग माइनिंग मटेरियल इट्स एन ऐप लॉन्च बाय हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट टू टू ट्रैक द माइनिंग मटेरियल स्मगलिंग व्हीकल मूवमेंट ट्रैकिंग ऐप इट्स अ व्हीकल मूवमेंट ट्रैकिंग ऐप स्टार्टेड बाय हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज रिगार्डिंग इंडिया फर्स्ट बायोगैस पावर इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल चार्जिंग स्टेशन हैज बिन सेटअप इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र दिस कैन जनरेट अबाउट टू ट्वेंटी यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम फूड वेस्ट तो इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ बायोगैस प्लांट बायोगैस पावर्ड इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल चार्जिंग स्टेशन हैज बिन सेटअप इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र दिस कैन जनरेट अबाउट टू ट्वेंटी यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम फूड वेस्ट तो दिस इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम फूड वेस्ट Next point is about Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla has announced Kalam website a literary initiative of Prabha Khatan Foundation to support and to support encourage vernacular literature it's about vernacular literature vernacular means the language of different language the aim is to provide a platform to young and veteran to talk about their writing in India and abroad so this was launched by Lok Sabha Speaker by Mr Om Birla has launched kalam website a literary initiative of prabha khatan foundation coming to the next point the next point is uh, on tomato flu recently a new virus named tomato flu has been found in kerala the children below 5 years of age are being affected by this virus so this virus affect affect mostly the children who are below 5 years of age we are going through the national issues next point The Archaeological Survey of India has discovered a 5000 year old jewelry factory in Rakhi Gadi in Haryana. So um, Archaeological Survey of India has discovered a 5000 year old it's 5000 year old jewelry factory in Rakhi Gadi in Haryana. So you have to remember it's Rakhi Gadi in Haryana and who, uh, who has discovered it the Archaeological Survey of India. The next point is regarding UP UP government has announced to provide free internet connectivity to more than 58000 location in village of the state the villages will be provided free internet facility of more than 58000 locations okay so who will provide this UP government will has announced to provide free internet connectivity to more than 5000 58000 location in the village of the state Next point is regarding Utkar Samaro which was held in Bharoj Gujarat the prime minister narendra modi addressed utkar samaro bharoj gujarat it was organized to commemorate 100% coverage of four major schemes of the state which provided financial assistance to the needy people so it was addressed by pm modi the uh, it was named as utkar samaro bharoj it was held in bharoj gujarat it was organized to commit 100% coverage of four major scheme of the state which provide financial assistance to the needy people this covers our national current issues now we will go through international issues for the students those who have applied for jssc cgl it's an information for them ye unke liye hai jin logon ne jharkhand ssc cgl ka form bhara hai aur jin logon ne language paper 2 sanskrit rakha hai un log ke liye hamare channel mein continue videos aa rahe hain वो एक मॉडल सेट है फोर्टी क्वेश्चंस का तो जिन लोग का संस्कृत लैंग्वेज है वो इसको देख सकते हैं अपना प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं और जो फोर्टी क्वेश्चन का सेट्स है उसमें जो आपका सिलेबस कवर होता है सिलेबस में आपका पूरा ग्रामेटिकल पोर्शन है लिटरेचर पोर्शन है और जो आपका संस्कृत लैंग्वेज इवोल्यूशन ऑफ संस्कृत लैंग्वेज है तो संस्कृत रिलेटेड पूरा सिलेबस कवर हो रहा है तो जिन लोगों का लैंग्वेज है संस्कृत लैंग्वेज जिन लोगों ने ऑप्ट किया है और जिन लोगों का हिंदी इंग्लिश या अदर है तो उन लोगों के लिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन जिन लोगों का संस्कृत लैंग्वेज है वो इस चैनल को देख सकते हैं अपना प्रैक्टिस सेट मतलब जो फोर्टी क्वेश्चन का सेट है उसको प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं और जिन लोगों ने चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है दे डू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल वॉच आवर कम्प्लीट वीडियो बिकॉज दे आर नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग योर रिगार्डिंग योर जी सेक्शन करंट अफेयर सेक्शन एंड इट विल कवर द एस एस सी सी जी 
पेपर थ्री का प्रैक्टिस सेट भी दिया हुआ है जो टेस्ट पेपर थ्री है दैट इज वन जो 150 मार्क्स का है नेगेटिव मार्किंग वाला उसमें आप 15 टेस्ट पेपर कवर किए गए हैं वो आप देख सकते हैं प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं और अगर जिन लोगों को कोई पोर्शन में प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है वो आप कमेंट सेक्शन में जाके कमेंट भी कर सकते हैं ओके कमिंग टू द नेशनल इंटरनेशनल इशूज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द नेशनल इशूज नाउ वी आर गोइंग थ्रू इंटरनेशनल इशूज इंडिया एंड जर्मनी हैव जॉइंटली डिक्लेयर्ड to form a task force on green hydrogen in the field of renewable energy along with the agreement has also been signed between the two of two for the triangular cooperation development so it's a triangular cooperation development between india germany who has jointly declared to form a task force on green hydrogen green hydrogen in the field of renewable energy so it's in the field of renewable energy and it was signed between india and germany along with the agreement has also been signed between the two for a triangular cooperation development coming to the next point the next point is indian origin Nand Mul Chand, sorry, Nand Mul Chandani has been elected as the first Chief Technology Officer of the Central Intelligence Agency (CIA) of the USA. So, in this Indian origin, Nand Mul Chandani has been elected as the first Chief Technology Officer of Central Intelligence Agency. So, it's for the CIA of USA. Indian origin, Nand Mul Chandani has been elected. So, this is this line, this point is important for the exam. Coming to the next point. The world's longest glass bridge, named Bach Long Pedestrian Bridge White Dragon, has been built in Vietnam. So this um, this is the world's longest glass bridge. Its length is 632 meter and height is 150 meter. The height of the bridge is 150 meter and length is 632 meter. Remember, it's world's longest bridge, named as Bach Long Pedestrian Bridge White Dragon, and it's 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 in Vietnam. Recently South Korea has become the first Asian country to join NATO cyber defense group Recently South Korea has become the first Asian country means it's become the first Asian country to join NATO cyber defense group So you have to remember South Korea has become the first Asian country to join NATO cyber defense group Next point is regarding meeting of regional anti terrorist structure of SEO Rats was held in New Delhi. India has assumed the chairmanship of SCO Rats in 2021 for one year. The main focus of the meeting was the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. Next point, in the meeting of the Executive Board and General Assembly held in Manila, Philippines, India has been elected as a president of Association of Asian Election Authorities (AAEA) to. forum of election authority of asian countries to so in the meeting of executive board the general assembly held in manila philippines it's in manila philippines it was a meeting held india has been elected at the president of the association india has been elected at the president of the indian association of election authorities to form a election authority of asian countries next point saudi arabia Saudi Arabia's petrols company named Aramco has taken taken over Apple to become the world's most valuable company. Aramco has reached the market value of dollar 2.42 trillion. So Saudi Arabia's petrols company named Aramco has overtaken the Apple to become the world's most valuable company. So which is the most valuable company? It's Aramco, and its total uh, value has dollar 2.42 trillion, means 2.42 trillion dollar. It's Saudi Arabia Arabian petro company. Next point is. the ministry of state for renewable energy and chemical fertilizer sri bhagwan khubas from india has participated in inter solar european 2022 event organized by indo german energy forum in germany so it's it it took place in germany it's a renewable energy chemical fertilizer sri bhagwan khubas from india 
from india he has participated and the program is intersolar europe 2022 intersolar europe 2022 organized by indo german energy forum in germany so it was organized in germany in between indo german and the ministry of state for renewable energy and chemical fertilizers has participated from india coming to the next point next point is regarding the 15th united nation conference on desertification UNCCD COP15 was held in Abidjan de Côte d'Ivoire Ivory Coast on behalf of India's Environment Forest and Climate Change Minister Bhupendra Yadav has participated in it it was uh, organized in Ivory Coast and from India Bhupendra Yadav has participated so you have to remember it's the 15 United Nation Conference on Desertification was held in Ivory Coast Next point is regarding on the occasion of Buddha Purnima that is on 16th May 2022 Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Lumbini Nepal the birthplace of Lord Buddha during this his six agreements were signed in the field of rock and hydropower between the two countries so Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Lumbini Nepal on the occasion of Buddha Purnima and in this occasion six agreements were signed between them in the sorry in the field of hydropower between the two countries so it's between india and nepal next point is regarding it's the world's longest suspension bridge has been opened for the people in czech republic this is situated at a height of 95 meter from the valley and its length is 721 meter this bridge has been named as sky bridge as 721 so remember this point is important for your bpsc the commission can ask this question world's longest suspension bridge it's the world's longest suspension bridge has been opened for the people in czech republic where it is opened it's opened in czech republic this is situated at a height of 95 meter from the valley and its length is 721 meter the length of the Uh, bridge is length is 721 meter and the bridge is named as sky bridge sky bridge 721 next the annual meeting of the world economic forum held in davos switzerland commerce and industry minister piyush goel led the meeting from the indian side means uh, in switzerland the meeting was held from economic forum the commerce and industry minister, minister piyush goel led the meeting from indian side Next point regarding Belgium Belgium has become the first country to make a 21 day quarantine mandatory for the patient suffering from monkey pox virus so quarantine uh, day is mandatory for the patient suffering from monkey pox and the day of the quarantine day is that is 21 days and it was uh, Belgium became the first country Bel- Belgium became the first country to make a 21 day quarantine previously the quarantine day was for 14 days for covid patients and for monkey virus patient it's 21 day quarantine is compulsory next point is regarding UDA, union health minister mansukh mandviya addressed the 75th world health assembly held in geneva on behalf of india so mansukh mandviya addressed 75th world health assembly which was held in geneva coming to the next point next point is regarding Mansukh Mandviya the health minister and the family welfare minister of chemicals and fertilizer visit during his visit to Jordan Jordan has signed an agreement for the cooperation in the field of fertilizer he during his visit to Jordan he has signed the union health minister and family welfare minister Mansukh Mandviya and minister of chemicals and fertilizer during his visit to jo- Jordan when he visited jordan he signed an agreement for in the cooperation of field of fertilizer okay so this all covers the international issue now we will go through the economic issue hdfc bank launched green and sustainable deposit to combat climate change funds raised under this will be used to finance gr- green and sustainable housing loan solution and services so hdfc bank launches green and sustainable deposits to combat climate change fund raised under this will be used to finance green and sustainable housing loan solution and services so this was done by sdfc bank next point is around power finance corporation limited has launched india's first euro green bond it is india's euro first green bond 
पावर फाइनेंस कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड हैज लॉन्च इंडिया फर्स्ट यूरो ग्रीन बॉन्ड नाउ वी विल कवर साइंस एंड टेक पोर्शन तो वी हैव कवर नेशनल इंटरनेशनल एंड इकोनॉमिक इश्यू ऑल दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट लेटर ऑन वी विल गो थ्रू द इकोनॉमिक सर्वे एंड बजट द स्टेट बिहार बजट विल ऑल्सो भी कवर्ड तो ऑल द सेक्शन फ्रॉम द नेशनल इंटरनेशनल एंड स्टेट अफेयर्स विल भी कवर्ड इन दिस सेक्शन प्लीज डू वॉच द वीडियो रेगुलरली एंड दोज हुव नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट ट्राई टू वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज बॉन्गो सागर मैन्यूवर इंडिया एंड बांग्लादेश नेवी फेज नेवी फर्स्ट फेज एट पोर्ट मंगला बांग्लादेश ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मे एंड सेकेंड फेज इन ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ मे तो इट्स अ इंडिया बांग्लादेश नेवी फर्स्ट फेज पोर्ट मांगला पोर्ट मांगला इन बांग्लादेश ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ टू ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ मे एंड सेकेंड फेज इन बेंगाल बे ऑफ बेंगाल ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ मे नेक्स्ट पॉइंट गार्डन रिच शिप बिल्डिंग एंड इंजीनियर्स जी आर सी इन एसोसिएशन विथ लाजन एंड टाबो शिप बिल्डिंग लॉन्च द इंडियन नावल शिप दैट इज आई एन एस डायरेक्टर इन चेन्नई तो इट्स गार्डन रिच शिप बिल्डर्स एंड इंजीनियर्स इन एसोसिएशन विथ एल एन टी एल एन टी शिपिंग शिप बिल्डिंग लॉन्च द इंडियन नावल शिप सर्विस दैट इज आई एन एस डायरेक्टर इन चेन्नई इंडियन नेवी डी कमीशन गोदावरी ग्लास गाइडेड मिसाइल सॉरी ग्लास गाइडेड मिसाइल शिप आई एन एस गोमती इन मुंबई आफ्टर थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ सर्विसेस तो इंडियन नेवी डी डी कमीशन गोदावरी गाइडेड मिसाइल इट्स अ मिसाइल विच वॉज डिसमेंटल इन आई एन एम आई एन एस गोमती इन मुंबई आफ्टर थर्टी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ सर्विसेस इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट द स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट एंड सुपर कंप्यूटर द स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट एंड सुपर कंप्यूटर परम परम पोरूल हैज इनोग्रेटेड एट एन आई टी तिरुचिरापल्ली अंडर द नेशनल सुपर कंप्यू अंडर द नेशनल सुपर कंप्यूटिंग मिशन तो इन दिस पॉइंट द स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट सुपर कंप्यूटर परम पारूल हैज इनोग्रेटेड एट एन आई टी तिरुचिरापल्ली अंडर दिस नेशनल सुपर कंप्यूटिंग मिशन तो इन दिस द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट आर इंपॉर्टेंट कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट रिसेंटली चाइनीज साइंटिस्ट है प्लान क्लोज वे हैबिटेबल एक्सप्लोनेट सर्विस to search for the habitable planets like earth outside the solar system so it's a chinese scientist have planned a close way habitat explorer survey just to search for the habitable planets like earth outside the solar system next point param anand supercomputer was dedicated to the national nation at iit gandhi nagar under the phase 2 of the national supercomputing machine तो परम आनंद सुपर कंप्यूटर वॉज डेडिकेटेड टू द नेशन एट आई आई टी गांधीनगर अंडर द फेज टू ऑफ द नेशनल सुपर कंप्यूटिंग मशीन रिसेंटली साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ फ्लोरिडा इन यूएस अचीव अ फिट जर्मिनेटिंग सीड्स इन सॉइल ब्रॉड फ्रॉम द मून फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस द सीड ऑफ द प्लांट अराबिडोपोसिस थैलेनिया वॉज ग्रोन so the scientist from the university of florida the scientist from the university of florida in us achieved the fit germinating seeds in soil brought from the moon the seed was brought from the moon for the first time and who has brought this the scientist from florida has brought this in usa achieved the fit germinating seeds in the soil brought from the moon for the first time in this the seed of the plant called arab uh, arabido posis thalenia was grown next recently iran launched indigenous indigenously made soil fuel rocket zuliana into the space so it uh, indigenous by iran launched indigenous indigenous means the it was made in iran and it was a soil fuel rocket soil fuel rocket zuliana into the space now we will cover the important days the days which are celebrated for the first time so it's social justice day it was celebrated on 17 september the government of tamil nadu announced to celebrate this day as ev rama swami's birthday birth anniversary as a social justice day so this day is celebrated as social justice day day the day is 17 september remember the day the day is 17 september as social justice day on the uh, to celebrate ev rama swami's birth anniversary next day is samarpan divas 
that is 11th feb on the occasion of the death anniversary on the occasion of the death anniversary of pandit din dayal upadhyay next section is satellite one wave india october 2022 launching lvm lvm3 m2 this is the first commercial mission lvm3 is to launch 36 commercial satellites to this mission next one is eos06 launched on november 2022 launching pslv c54 ocean set 3 and 8 other nano satellites were launched next is operation operation uplabd launched by railway protection force to curb the activities of black marketing of railway tickets and to make railway tickets available to the people this point is repeated last day also i have repeated this point that means this point is important for your exam operation uplabd launched by the railway protection force to curb the activities of the black marketing of the railway tickets next operation is operation mission amanat launched by the indian railway to track the lost luggage of railway passengers next we are going through environment section the aravalli biodiversity park located in gurugram haryana has been declared india's first other effective area best conservative measurement the oecm status is given by un iucn to the areas to that conserve the biodi- biodiversity but are not protected areas means it's a aravalli biodiversity park located in gurugram haryana and has been declared as india's first other effective area based conservative conservation measures so this uh, oecm status is given by the iucn to the areas that conserve the biodiversity next point delhi cabinet Delhi cabinet has approved the setting up of India's first electronic waste eco park this park will recycle the e waste in the safe manner so the e waste the electronic management jo electronic waste hai electronic waste will be managed in eco park so it was started by the delhi cabinet next point is regarding rajasthan stood first in terms of solar energy based electrification of households under the saubhagya scheme So Rajasthan stood first in terms of solar energy based electrification household under Saubhagya scheme. So you have to remember the name of the operation or the name of the scheme. Next section we are going through the famous personalities of national and international. We we will learn both the national famous personalities or international. The first person is Harshvardhan Shrinkla. G20 chief coordinator from India he is the G20 chief coordinator from India next person Amitabh Kant shape of G20 from India next Krishna Ramanujam president of NASCOM next person BS Raju new chief new vice chief of army staff next person is Dr S Raju director general of geological survey of India so these are the new appointments or the famous person you have to learn these names by their portfolios next person next personality is air marshal ap singh new chief vice chief of indian air force next person ranjana prakash desai chairperson of press council of india next sasi sinha new chairman of bark india next r dinesh president of confederation of indian industry akash ambani chairman of reliance industry limited now we will go through military exercises we have covered national issues international issues economic issues defense and science and tech important days satellites operation all these are covered uh, remember we will cover at least 101 important for you important uh, facts for you bpsc exam so this is military exercise X Khan Quest 2022 venue was Mongolia 16 countries included Indian Army next X Sampriti X that is that was held in June 22 venue Jorsey military station Bangladesh and India and Bangladesh participated in this coming to the next point its major index the index index portion is very important because there are tradition of asking four to five question from the index 
if you see the previous bpsc previous years paper you will find index related question or operation related questions so first index is human development index 2021-22 issued by undp first place switzerland in this you have to remember the place uh, first place and the place of india last place burundi and the uh, india's rank is 132 this is important next point is global sustainable development report 2022 first place finland last place south sudan and the place of india is 121 so remember you have to recall the rank of india it's 1 to 1 next portion days and theme international tea day it's celebrated on 21st may 2022 and the theme of the day is tea and flare trade next international Bio biodiversity day 22nd May 2022, theme of this day is building a shared future for all life. Coming to GI tags, ONA, sorry, ONA, ONA to Kara Ilu, CSEM, that is from Kerala. It's a CSEM mistil. Next is Atta Paddy, Atta Paddy Thuvara, this is also from Kerala. So these two points are from GI tags. Daily we are covering all the GI tags. That means the section is divided. We are covering the daily affairs. Means from the following section will cover the limited points. So GI portion is GI tag portion is over now. Now we will go through our section. Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development. Indian Medical Association and Trend Nurses Organization of India has been selected for this award. Indira Gandhi Peace Prize has been given to Indian Medical Association and Train Nurse. Typing mistake is there. It's Train Nurse Organization of India have been selected for this award. Next, International Children Peace Prize. Great uh, Greta Thunberg, the Swedish Environment Activities and Divina Mol. Molum has been awarded for International Children's Peace Prize. So try to remember all these awards. Next award is Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award. Achanta Sarath Kamal, the table tennis player. Next, Padma Vibhushan Award 2023 given to Mr. Balakrishnan Dosi for Art and Architecture. Next, Padma Vibhushan Award 2023. Mr. Jakir Hussain Art Upcoming Meeting. Now we will go through the upcoming meeting held in India and International. First, 19th NAM Summit 2023. It was held in Uganda. Next point, 27 CHO GAM Conference held in 2024 in Samoa. Next, 15 BRICS Summit. It was in South Africa. Now coming to the sports section. 22nd FIFA World Cup 2022, it was held in the host is Qatar, mascot Laib, winner is Argentina, runner of France and golden boot is given to Kian Meape. So it was held in Qatar, mascot Laib, winner Argentina, runner up is France and the golden boot is given to Kian Meape. Next FIFA Club World Cup 2022, host Morocco winner Real Madrid runner up Al Hilal. Next is important Durant Cup. Host is Kolkata winner Bengaluru for the first time and runner up Mumbai City. Next portion is UEFA Women's Euro 2022. Winner is England, runner up is Germany. Next portion is scheme. First scheme is Samarth scheme to promote and generate the employment to, to the textile industry and elite sector. It's for, the, it's for the promotion and generation of employment to the textile industry and elite sector. Next MSME competitiveness lean scheme to provide a roadmap for the global competitiveness in the MSME sector. Next Amrit Bharat station. Scheme, moder modernization of the railway station across the country. It's for the modernization of the railway station across the country. Next portion is campaign. Nai Chetna Bhiyan launched by the central government to create awareness among women and girls against gender violence. It's a Nai Chetna Bhiyan started by the government of India to create awareness among women and girls 
against gender violence. Next, anti-dust campaign launched by Delhi government to comply with the pollution norms at construction site. Next, mobile app, CISS app launched by the National Commission for the Protection of Girl Childs under Bal Swaraj portal. Its objective is to make arrangements for the rehabilitation of the street children. It's for the rehabilitation of the street children launched by the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights under Bal Swaraj portal. Next, EV Yatra app launched by President Draupadi Murmu on the occasion of the National Energy Conservation Day that is on 14th December. This will help people to find the nearest EV charging station. Okay. This completes our current affairs section. Please do watch regularly for your BPSC current affairs section. It will cover all the important facts for your exam. Do watch our videos completely and regularly. Thanks for watching this. Stay tuned for new updates.